Welcome, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, you Aries. Okay, so this quarter has to do with uh, um, let yourself receive. Allow others to give to you lovingly. Receive without um, um, judgment or an apology. Okay. So, 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 Aries, let's go in and look and see what is happening and transpiring for you, Aries. So, um, I want to say thank you um, for returning. The energy of the devil is down. And uh, your foundation, you're dealing with uh, the energy of strength. So we have a really masculine, masculine energy. Whatever is happening and transpiring, the energies are masculine. A lot of you... Or dealing with your business work, a whole lot of work is going to be coming up. Um, this is really a masculine energy. This is the quantum business Elin um, for Aries, Leo, and uh, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, there is a lot that is coming in. You have the energy of the devil in return, so some sort of a situation is going to be coming out. What you Aries were doing, I see an end is going to be coming in. So your foundation is with strength, uh, dealing with some sort of uh, issues uh, that is coming up with a young person at work. You young people are going to be having some sort of an issue at work, okay? And uh, um, people are going to be uh, looking at you very strangely and that sort of a thing. I see some of you young people are dealing with a whole lot of issues at work, so be aware of this. So the foundation is that a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a problems at work, especially when it comes up to young people. Business people, I see this is happening for you guys also, that there are some sort of a, um, issues that is going to be coming up. And some of you are dealing with conflicts um, with an Aquarian, with a Leo. A lot of you are dealing with some sort of a conflicts with an Aquarian and a Leo. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in this reading and see um, what we're having to deal with. So, um, business people are going to be having some problems. There is no question. So when we look at the month of um, October, because this is for October, November and December, it is also a general reading and this reading have an effect of... Um, up, um, you know, it's an extended, um, whenever the time stamp it is just recorded at this date, but it is an, um, a reading that is going to be bringing out a whole lot of information. 88 is here, three times eight is here, so a lot of financial, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a financial issue with your business or at work. And especially young people, you're going to be caught up with some sort of a situation at work. Um, where you have to be resolving some sort of an issue. So this is definitely going to be coming up. The unseen and the infinity is that there is three times the energy of eight. In, in the, and the, the energy of eight has to do with financial stability, okay? It is the frequency of uh, um, the, the infinity wisdom where there could be some sort of a situation that is going to be transpiring where a lot of you have to um, making some sort of a decision. Changing jobs could be coming up for a whole lot of you in this quarter. So be aware of this and be open to the energies that is going to be coming up. Transition is the name of the spirit for you, Aries. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there's a whole lot of transition that is coming up. A lot of you uh, contracts could be ended in October, so be aware of this. Whatever is happening, some sort of a contracts in the month of October could be um, changing for you guys. So, so uh, October is the energy where something came out, and I see an end is going to be coming up to some of you contract or some of you businesses. So be aware of this because October is going to be showing up something that was happening behind the scenes that a lot of people were not aware of. And I see that some of you did not want this information to come out in October. So be aware of what this information is all about and how it is going to be affecting you moving forward in your business and career um, endeavors moving forward. So October is a month where some sort of a situation where some of you 
um, were um, um, dealing with some sort of an issue um, that came up in your life. Uh, um, I see that you have to um, make some sort of a changes uh, in the month of October when it comes up. And some people will be receiving some sort of a message that work is going to be ended in October. So be aware of this. Uh, so a lot of uh, transition is going to be going on in the month of October. A lot of people could be walking away from their jobs. A lot of people um, are going to be finding themselves being connected in some sort of an issue that is creating some sort of a problems for you. As we look at the month of November, I see a whole lot of conflicts, a whole lot of inner conflicts that is going on about your work, your career and business. A lot of business people are going to be having some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up in November for your business. So um, business people, managers in that sort of a situation, you are going to be finding out and seeing the truth about what is happening and what is transpiring. Um, a whole lot of you could be having a whole lot of work to do because people are going to be putting um, a whole lot of work on you. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarian. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. So at the workplace, um, some of you could be having some sort of a conflict in situation with an Aquarius, a whole lot of conflicts at the workplace in the month of November. And some of you are going to be walking away from a job because of a Virgo. OK, um, some of you, um, I see that um, you're dealing with a Pisces. Some of you businessmen are dealing with a Pisces and they're going to be finding out some sort of a connection with you and a Pisces that has created some sort of a dramatic situation and uh, did not go by protocols and that sort of a thing. They're going to be seeing that some of you Tauruses, uh, Aries, my excuses, uh, was connected with a Tauruses, a Virgo and a Pisces. Uh, and I see that um, you three have created some sort of a issues and uh, problems um, for the business. It could be your business partners. And there is a lot of conflicts between you and your business partner, a lot of conflicts between a whole lot of you with an Aquarian, uh, a Taurus, a Virgo, and a Pisces, a lot of conflict. So however this is coming up and transpiring, people are going to be going through some sort of an issue um, that you're going to be dealing with other people on the work floor. In the month of December, we have the energy of uh, um, strength, trying to find strength to deal with a lot of work. A lot of work is going to be coming up in December for a whole lot of you. A lot of you are going to be trying to um, bring back and bring balance to your business. Some of you, some contracts um, or some payments that was out is going to be coming in. Um, a lot of you are trying to resolve and work through some sort of an issue that is coming up in December. OK, and it has to do with your business. So a lot of you business people are going to be having a lot of work. It's going to be business very very busy for business people in the month of December and some of you in the month of December is dealing with a co-worker and you're trying to find strength to deal with this person whoever this person is and whatever is going on there is some sort of an issue and situation that this person has created this person is a young person and um, you're trying to resolve and and get out of some sort of a situation that this person had created for you so you could be you could be a manager or you're a supervisor um but um some sort of a situation that came up uh, that has to do with uh, um some sort um co-workers or employees uh, and uh, it could be yeah christmas is a time of business but also trying to figure out if there's going to be christmas party and getting things done in order to um finish off the year so this is going to be coming up and transpiring so be aware of this. Young people, you're going to be having some sort of an issue and problems. You are standing in the foundation of uh, these three quarters. So young people, be aware of this. Uh, some sort of an issues and situations. Some of you young people have to give, give, meaning um, that you have to drop your... Um, it's as if some of you um, young people hold some sort of a rain and you have to let go of this rain or else you are going to be finding yourself in some really really serious serious problem so you gotta be aware you gotta be aligned with the energies especially for young people you're going to be realizing that a whole lot of the issues situation is going to be coming up for you young people you have to make some sort of a decision 
what direction you are going to be going in and how you're going to be dealing with this. So a lot of information is going to be coming out for um, um, uh, uh, you Aries or having some sort of an issue in a conflict with yourself and trying to resolve some sort of a situation on the work floor or with your business. A whole lot of uh, um, problem is coming up for you Aries where you have to go within to find out the best resolution um, to deal with this situation, especially people who have a business. Um, you're trying to resolve certain things and I say it's going to be busy but you're going to be having to deal with a whole lot where you're trying to find the best possibility in order to resolve some sort of an issue some sort of a situation that is coming up so um these uh, this situation that is here and is transpiring you got to be aware of what is coming up and be centered in yourself in order to resolve uh, whatever the issue is. A lot of protocols was broken in some of you areas. They are, um, um, you know, using you to be um, um, accepting um, the problems and the situation that was created um, because you're in a position, you're going to be getting a lot of the uh, stuff on the table where you need to resolve uh, um, a whole lot of issue because they are going to be realizing some sort of a transition that has transpired and it has to do with you Aries uh, could have uh, made this a problem for a lot of people so um, you have to be aware so October is going to be having the month of fire and water and it's going to be very emotional when it comes up to work and career um, for you Aries then we look at November November is going to be air and hurt um, especially for the people who are working for other people people who are uh, are on the signed contracts and so, um, there's going to be a whole lot of conflicts at work so be aware of this then we are looking at December where a lot of uh, in a um in a strength finding in a strength because uh, it could be very very busy or you could be getting a lot on your plate to deal with and you have to kind of figure out how you are going to be balancing out the situation that is coming at you so um be aware of this because uh, there is going to be a huge transformation in the month of December, especially for business people, the month of December is going to be creating some sort of a huge transformation. A lot of you um, know uh, you are open up and trying to reconnect with people, business people, um, uh, people at the workplace. But I see no hope and harms is here, even though you are trying to show love and affection. I see no one is open, um, open up their harms to you. And I see some of you could be very frustrated because you're going um, through some sort of a frustrated situation that is happening in your world. So um, be open and go and um, check out the last um, um, bi monthlies because the last bi monthlies is going to be showing up what you're dealing with in the month of October. Um, this is an extended reading. If you would like to see the extended of this reading to see exactly how it's going to be affecting you guys, you can be um, really, really consciously connecting with us uh, um, to see the extended, the extended or three, I think it's 15% for three reading. So extended is always look at the first two months um, coming up uh, to the month that you're in. And these work with the monthly readings, the weekly readings and the bi-weekly. Okay, because this is the third quarter. This is October, November and December. So um, in October is a fire sign, some sort of information come out where some of you are going to make a decision to just walk away. Um, in November, some kind of uh, conflicts, conflicts on the work floor. In December, you're having to deal with a whole lot of issues, especially for business people. A whole lot of issues is going to be coming up. So be aware of this. I want to say to you guys, please like and share these reading. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, it helped the algorithm um, to flow. Please remember to join and um, subscribe. Um, thumbs up to these readings. Subscribe and check out the weekly readings. Weekly readings are going to be helping you guys. This is a quarter reading, so you have to look at 
the end of the buy reading in September to know what is going to be coming up in October until the October readings are out. I want to say to you, Aries, I love you guys. I know you guys are going through a very hard um, hardship in this year, 2020. But you are just clearing your karm, your karmas. Let's hope that 2021 is going to be good. You carry the energy of Mars and this is the reason why. So a lot of you are dealing with conflicts. I do love you, Aries. Um, um, if you're coming over on the other side, I will see you. Otherwise, I will speak to you in the month of October. Namaste.